Musk could be on his way out after exposing the censorship scandal at Twitter. Could he be? The billionaire user billionaire polled users on whether he should step down as CEO of the social media giant and promising he would abide by the results. Well, the verdict is in and 57 percent support his stepping down. That comes as we get a new batch of Twitter files exposing the cozy relationship between the FBI and the social media giant. It shows the Bureau bullying executives for not reporting state propaganda enough. It even caused Twitter's former head of trust and safety, UL Roth, to be uncomfortable. He was the guy <laughs> who also banned people. And today, we learned the FBI warned Twitter about hacked information just hours before mm. the New York Post published its Hunter Biden laptop story. So Dana, let's start there, because right before the laptop story was published, the FBI had had the laptop for in a their year. possession for a year. I know. And then I read today that um, in, within these files, they found that there was a note from the ousted former FBI and now former Twitter deputy counsel, James Baker, thanking the FBI for helping them get the Hunter Biden laptop story put away. Mm -hmm. And so that looks very suspicious. And you have to imagine that for Yoel Roth, who is the guy at Twitter, he was even irritated by the FBI and saying, gosh, guys, like, can you back off? Like, we, like, we, we, it, we're still a private company. And the FBI had so many agents looking at them. I think it's pretty hilarious that they fell for satirical sites mm -hmm. and uh, accounts that had 12 followers. How many times have we made fun of people for retweeting people that had 12 followers? Like, if you have a million <laughs> followers and you retweet someone's mean comment to you and they had 12 followers, then what have you done? Right. That doesn't make any sense. So there's a, there is a lot there. I do think that Elon Musk has... I wouldn't say he's opened Pandora's box, but he opened a box. He's like, wow, this thing is kind of terrible, but it's also something that should be fixed. I want to try to fix it, but I also got to try to land a guy on the moon next week. So right. he needs somebody else to actually run the day to day. So, Greg, do you think Elon Musk should stay or go? Oh, he's got to go because he already knew the outcome. Like people, mm -hmm. people go, why would he do this? Because he, because he he was he's planning planning on going, and he used this opportunity to, I guess, teach us something mm -hmm. about maybe how you how Twitter could be used in the future in terms of, you know, maybe Twitter makes decisions. Maybe it is a high brain, a human brain in which people vote on things, and maybe it's the future of voting. I mean, it's like the idea, like, if he wasn't stepping down, he never would have done this. So he's gonna he's definitely stepping down. This was just a great way to turn it into something else. I think that, you know, whoever he picks for this, he doesn't need a firebrand or a visionary because that's his job. He's still gonna be running the thing no matter what. What he needs, it's like if this were like a TV show, right? He basically needs a host. A host who just kind of shows up and like, you know, he's the he needs a front of the store and you need somebody that isn't that isn't like I, I, I was thinking like Charles Barkley because I can't figure out where he stands on anything. Like one minute he'll say something so right wing and then the next thing he says something so left wing and I go he's America. Mm -hmm. Like it's this kind of like you can't have anybody that's a that's like a regular here or a regular CNN. It's got to be somebody. But then again, or it's just somebody you don't know. Yes. Like somebody you don't know who doesn't have a person. Persona. A persona. A persona. Now, so, Harold, we hear a lot from the left, especially on Capitol Hill, continuing on about misinformation, disinformation, importance of defending democracy. And yet we're seeing even more what we suspected and proof of it, that the FBI had a heavy hand in the lead up to the 2020 election in suppressing information that could have changed part of the election. Well, I don't know if it would have changed uh, any, anything in the election. What I do agree with wholeheartedly is that I, I'm against censorship regardless of whom uh, is instigating it or whom uh, it might help in the process. And some may say this could have helped Democrats. Um, I'm most concerned, if, if these reports are accurate, and I have no reason to believe that, that many are not, but we need more information here. Why was the FBI in at Twitter asking them to do things? Normally when the FBI is with a private company uh, trying to gain information, it's either an active investigation underway uh, or there's something happening that they need that information for to prevent harm to the country. Uh, that's the burden that will be on the FBI to, to share with the country. Uh, I'm going to withhold judgment, uh, but I have to tell you the things that we're seeing from what Mr. Musk and, and, the, and Mr. Taibbi and Ms. Uh, Ms. Weiss are, 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 are releasing. And Schellenberger. Yeah. And, and Schellenberger. Yeah, I, yeah exactly. Um, uh, all of this is troubling, and I think it deserves an answer and a, a big set of answers. Well, one person I, trying to get answers. Is... But I do hope Musk does what he said he was going to do. If he, if he, I'd agree with Greg. He probably knew the outcome of that. But if he 
said to people, I'm going to abide by the results. He's got to have a pretty compelling reason not to abide by it. I mean, and he's been off. consistent, too, on when those polls come out, he does what the polls say. Uh, Jesse, someone who wants to try and do something about this issue with the FBI pun or not, or in influencing Twitter is incoming, he thinks, Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Let's listen to what he said about what he's going to do and get your take. We're going to do more than just subpoena them. We're going to change the course of where the FBI is today. If you look, the FBI is every day we learn something more, that they became and could private companies become a political arm of them to go after individuals with no repercussions for individuals that know what's happening. But it raises more questions. Jesse? You're never going to beat the FBI. They're just too powerful. <laughs> And I'm going to get my hopes up, and then my heart's going to get broken. So I'm not even going to pretend. How many times is that happened? I mean, day after day <laughs> after day. So you go into the uh, Twitter headquarters, and your FBI badge basically works there. It yeah. like, lets you in. And then they flash it, and Twitter says, yes, sir, I'll do whatever you want, sir. It's crazy. There's more FBI agents at Twitter than there are Stanford graduates. So <laughs> th the whole company is now owned by the FBI. That's... But, We'll weed them out, but it's going to take a while. Musk can't poll Twitter. It, that's a rigged poll. Excuse atheist female. <laughs> Urban atheist overeducated female. Oh, We've boy. seen the metrics on it. It's mostly single women that have graduate degrees. That's true. You can't pay attention. That's like me running for governor of Vermont. <laughs> it's like I'm never going to win that. Don't but be what, so sure. They have I, a Republican <laughs> governor now. Really? <laughs> not, not like me. So, but you need, a, I have a friend who's a turnaround artist. They hire him to go in, not for 10 years. They hire him to go in for two years and turn the place around. To just fire a bunch of people and then juice profits and then get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. Basically just turn a place around and then send it in the right direction. That's what Musk is. He's a turnaround artist. You get in there, you find out all the crimes that have been committed, you make it profitable, and then you skedaddle. Because he has to stop tweeting based stuff. He's worth billions of dollars. He's got investors. Republicans have a lot of money in Tesla and all his companies. They don't want to hear the CEO spouting off about God knows what on social media. They like quiet, rich guys that stay yep. on the sidelines yep. and hire flamethrowers. You know who's yeah. a good turnaround artist? Brian Kilmeade. Whenever I see him, oh, wow. I turn around. <laughs> what is the urban atheist female thing to be able to make to turn around? They, 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 you they can find them all Twitter. everywhere. They're it's very scary. Single actually. white women. Single white women. That are far no, left and pro-abortion. That's who's on Twitter. Okay. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.